So the new year is almost upon us and Conor McGregor has teased that he is going to announce his fight date and who his opponent will be for his next fight on New Year's Day. Now, I'm going to break down who it could be, what the situation is here, and everything in between. So let's just start off with the first explanation, which is probably not the explanation people want to hear. But I feel like it is decently likely, and that is that McGregor's talking out of his ass, okay? Now, I'm not calling Conor McGregor a liar, but he does tell a little fib once or twice or fucking 2,500 times. You know, the man's retired about 10 times. He could just be trolling, okay? Let's just, let's just put that out there. This could be a troll from Conor McGregor. He's already got everyone talking about him. You know, people say, well, you, Conor McGregor's not really the biggest star. And then he goes and says that his next fight announcement will be in two days. And now he's got every single person. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of fucking grandmas, you know, British grandmas, Australian grandmas, American grandmas, sending it to their grandson who, you know, is an avid UFC watcher and say, oh, you know, Conor McGregor's coming back. Oh, dearie. Have you seen this, love? Like, I'm sure that is something that's going on right now. I'm sure there's articles talking about his comeback. And, you know, on Facebook, some, like, old granny's probably sent it to her grandson asking, oh, are you excited about this, you know? Because, you know, Conor McGregor is the biggest name. Whether people want to agree with it or not, Conor McGregor is absolutely the biggest name in combat sports. I would argue all of combat sports right now. I'd say Conor McGregor is bigger than Canelo Alvarez. One of Alvarez's fights did like 600,000 buys or something recently. Like, McGregor's never doing anything that low, in my opinion, unless he goes on a massive losing streak. But Conor McGregor is the biggest name in combat sports by far, in my opinion. So this is massive. This is massive for the UFC. But he could just be trolling. But... I do think there is a little truth to this. Uh, Dana White did say they'd be announcing some more fights to UFC 300. You know, he said UFC 300 will be getting some more fights announced after the whole Nina drama fucking announcement video that was a troll to uh, promote Power Slap. He did say that there would be some UFC 300 fights. And... I mean... Conor McGregor's got to be on UFC 300, right? Like, sh- fucking surely. They wouldn't be announcing UFC 301 right now. They're not going to announce, announce a fucking event for May before they announce UFC 300. Now, maybe they do, but I think that'd be a fucking weird thing to do. I do think that Conor McGregor will be fighting on UFC 300, and I think his most likely opponent is, and people... I don't know, some people seem to hate this fight for some reason, I don't really get why, it's going to be in a great fight, and I'm just sort of sick of Conor McGregor fucking fighting the same fucking guys and rematches, like, Conor McGregor doesn't have any fights left, let's give him some fresh fucking opponents that he's never fought before, please. And I do think the fight that will happen, and I think it will be UFC 300, I think it's going to be Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler, like, come on, it needs to happen, like I say, Michael Chandler will go on a fucking rampage and kill a bunch of fucking people in a fit of rage because he just sat out for a year. You know, he's fucking biting at the fucking lips to get a fucking another fight. You know, he's waiting. He needs that fucking red panty night, you know. He wants to fucking adopt an African tribe at this point. Like, Michael Chandler is fucking itching at the bits to get that fucking money, you know. He needs to fucking import as many uh, children from the African you know, sub-Saharan Africa, though. We're not talking about North Africa, you know. We know, we know what Michael Chandler wants, and he's fucking itching at it, you know. He's like a fucking junkie right now. He's fucking itching at his arm. He really wants to get it. He really wants it. He needs his fucking itch, you know. He's, he needs it. He fucking needs to adopt a child. He needs that red panty night. So I really do hope for Michael Chandler's sanity that he does get this fight because he will absolutely fucking go berserk if he doesn't get this fight. I've already seen him calling for uh, Nate Diaz. You're not going to get Nate Diaz. I doubt that. You know, Nate Diaz ain't even under UFC contract. So the, mo- the fight that does make the most sense is obviously Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler. And I do think that's the fight that's going to happen. But maybe the UFC go in another direction. I also did see an article or a tweet from uh, Damon Martin, I believe it was, saying that like it's still the current plan is McGregor versus Chandler, but maybe the UFC want to give him a more winnable fight, you know, so McGregor can like get back on his feet. And the only fights I can really think of that are like 
guaranteed tune-ups for Conor McGregor outside of like giving him some random fucking bum that nobody knows, like giving him like a, you know, no offense to these guys, but you know, like a Victor Martinez or bringing back Mike Breeden or having him, or bringing back fucking Mike Jackson or something like that. The most winnable fight for him with a name would have to be Tony Ferguson, obviously. But they're not going to do that. I'm going to have Tony Ferguson versus Conor McGregor. You know, I doubt it. I doubt that's going to happen. Maybe they do Conor McGregor versus Paddy Pimler. That's a big fight and everything, but it can't really main event UFC 300. It has to be a ranked opponent, I feel like. So I do think it's going to be Michael Chandler. It makes all the sense in the world. But there is like... There is, like, chances it could be something else. Maybe a Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz trilogy. But, like I say, Nate Diaz ain't under UFC contract. And it would be a horrible look if Nate Diaz comes back after losing to Jake Paul in a boxing match and then just fucking beats the fuck out of Conor McGregor. I don't think it would happen. I think McGregor would win it. But, like, I don't know. I want to see McGregor fight somebody new. Like, I'm sick of the fucking boxing-esque matchmaking where you just give all the big stars, like, all these rematches and trilogies. Like, let's just have them fight new people. Let's branch out these other fighters' names, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is interesting, though. I am looking forward to seeing if this is, like, not a con from Conor McGregor. If he fucking cons everybody, I'm going to be fucking furious, man. I am going to be pissed off, man. I'm... I want to see the guy fight again. It's been so fucking long. I ate last time Conor McGregor fought... Sorry, my hair's annoying me. Last time I watched Conor McGregor fight... Uh, fight, sorry, fought. Last time he fought, Jesus Christ, mumble on my words there. I apologize for that. I had about five of my mates over watching the fight, and then, boom, he breaks his fucking leg. Like, that was not a fun experience. You know, I'm watching with the boys, we're having a good time, we're fucking jumping up and down when Tai Tuivasa KOs Greg Hardy, and we're sort of like snoozing when uh, Gilbert Burns just lays on top of Wonderboy. But then we get that main event, and we're like, fuck, man, this feels big, this is going to be massive. Like, Conor McGregor, he's, you know, he's getting in Dustin Poirier's face, he's coming out with the karate stance. Even though, you know, boxing boxing stance Conor McGregor is probably better. You know, karate stance uh, McGregor is a bit more hittable, especially at this point because he's a bit slower than he was in his prime. I feel like he'd probably need to go back to that boxing uh, game plan. But, I mean, the guy can do what he wants here. But, yeah, I uh, regardless, just talking about, you know, he's getting in his face, he's getting hype. I'm like, fuck, man, he, he might actually go in there. He might actually beat Dustin Poirier. Like, he it was, it was looking like that. And then he gets absolutely fucking toasted up in the first round uh, and then breaks his leg. So that was that was a bit disappointing, but that was many years ago. Maybe maybe we get a good, good showing for himself. But I think Michael Chandler is a very winnable fight. I don't think they need to go and give him, like, some fucking tune-up. Like, I don't think we need Anshul Jubilee versus Conor McGregor main event in UFC 300 or anything crazy like that. All respect to Anshul Jubilee. The guy's, a, the guy's actually pretty skilled, I'm not going to lie, but he just doesn't really have heart. So I don't want to just shit on Anshul Jubilee. I do like the guy. He seems like a good guy. He's good for the Indian market, but... Yeah. Still, I don't know. I, I don't see them giving Conor McGregor some random no-name, unless they want to just build up some random no-name, which I don't think would be the case. It'd be a bit silly to have McGregor lose to some nobody at this point, unless you've built them up. But it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I'm just hoping, if he does troll here, people should just mute Conor McGregor and not listen to a fucking word he says, because this, be, this will fucking really irk me, man. I won't be thinking about it, because it'll be fucking New Year's. Actually, I'll probably be thinking about it, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, you never fucking know, man. I really hope this isn't an elaborate troll from Conor McGregor. But, we'll find out in due time. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a like. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Who do you reckon Conor McGregor will be facing? What date do you reckon it'll be? Do you, do you reckon, you know, it'll be the uh, favorite? The fight that most people think is going to happen, you know? Do you think it'll be Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler, UFC 300? April 13th, I believe it is. Do you think that will be the fight? Or do you think it will be something else? Something, you know, that we can't even comprehend. Maybe it's Conor McGregor. Fucking UFC Island or something crazy like that. Like, who knows? You never know. But anyway, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe. Put on the notifications. And... I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry. I had a little uh, override in my fucking robotic mal. I had a bit of a robotic malfunction there. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. You know, Grant Dawson impression. I keep doing this. I keep fucking doing the Grant Dawson fucking salute thing. I don't know why. I just, I, I've rewatched the fight. And every time I see it, it's like, why the fuck did that guy do that?
But anyway, regardless, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.